Hello, 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 everybody out there. I pray that everybody is doing well today. My name is Tabby Lilly. Welcome to the Tabby Lilly channel. Make sure you hit subscribe right at the bottom, as well as hit your notification bell so you can get notifications of new uploads. Today, I am with Mr. Martin Matthews. He is a poet. And without any further ado, I will go ahead and jump right on in and let you let him introduce himself. Well, hello, Thais. Uh, thanks for ha having me. Um, I'm Martin Matthews. As you mentioned, I am an author of a book of poetry called Love, Life, Confrontation, Expressions, Selections from the Chronicles of a Black Man. I am a trained teacher, and I, I currently am a manager at uh, Cisco Food Services here in Orlando. Hey, awesome. Well, uh, when did you start writing poetry? Um, I always had an affinity to write. But writing poetry, I think I started writing poetry in high school. Um, that, that's when I can remember the, the first actual poem that I wrote from start to finish was in high school. So awesome. And what inspired you? You know, you know we all do these, these, uh, these assignments in high school where we're required to do mm -hmm. writing composition. You know, we learn how right. to do haikus and all those kind of things, but a lot of us don't actually pursue on with our writing. What inspired right. you to pursue on with it? Well, the inspiration was, uh, I guess my first inspiration was more of a deficiency, really. The deficiency being I was shy. So because I was shy and reluctant to, you know, say the things that I wanted to say, for example, I would write them. So my, my affinity for writing was there, but because I was shy, I wouldn't, especially when it came on to females, I wouldn't just go up and say what I, what I thought I should say to some, uh, some girl I liked or whatever. So I'd write it. And then that kind of became you know, my method to communicate or just became my method. And over the years, it kind of developed. Um, and also back then, guys were not, you know, guys were not expressive about certain things. You know, you talk about, it's almost like you were socialized to speak about a, a, set, a set category of things. You know, the things I was thinking, the things I wanted to talk about were not really conversations that popped up in my everyday. So because of that, it kind of, the words were inside, they needed to come out, they came out in poetry. Awesome, awesome. Well, you know, most men are not really good at showing their feelings and uh, let's know writing in a manner, in such a beautiful way as poetry. What kind of emotions would you like your, your readers to feel when reading your poems? Well, it, it goes back to what I just mentioned about how men and boys, how boys are raised to, to think and feel. Yeah. It's, it, 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 we use terms like tough it out suck it up yeah um you're a man you got to be tough you got to be this you got to be that and to a large extent we have created we've created this situation where men yeah. don't share their emotions where men we made them that way from birth yeah. up, we've trained them that way. we train females differently but we train males a particular way so we're just reaping the end result of the work we've put in um so for men this book or, or what they should think or feel when they when they read it or what they will think and feel when they read it is that it is okay to express yourself yeah. using words. It is okay to find a woman that you that you love and and spend all of your energy making that woman happy. It is okay to use words, to use poetry to express these things. Okay. Awesome. Um, so there are poems in here that when a guy reads it, now mind you, you have shy guys like me out there, you have the domineer gentleman out there, but there's a poem in here for each of them. One guy is going to read it and was like, yeah, he can definitely identify with this. Another guy is going to think, hmm, I could probably tweak this a little bit and, and use it with someone that I'm dating and they would truly appreciate it. You know, so for, for men, it's like, hey, it's okay, bro. It is okay for you to express yourself. Women actually like these things about men that express themselves in this in this way. And a lot of women 
you know, that is their love language. You find a woman like that, you express yourself like that, you're golden. You know, for women, women on the other hand, they're gonna get inside scoop essentially. Um, yeah. They're gonna be, they're gonna, and mind you now, there's several poems in here that is gonna give a woman that warm fuzzy feeling. She is going to get that warm fuzzy feeling when she reads it because it talks about emotions, it talks about emotional things, it talks about yeah. feel good things, you know, yes, because the, the main topics we're talking love, life, confrontation, expression, these are things that everybody goes through. But yes. from the standpoint that I write it, if you realize most of, a lot of the poems are written from the third person perspective. So it kind of puts you on the outside and makes you observe the situation. So when a woman looks in there, she's either going to gain some insight as to how men process things. She's either, she's going to get hope that, you know what, there are guys out there that are still doing these things. There are men out there that are still using words to express themselves. And if that is the kind of man that I want, or if I just want, wouldn't mind if my man did it, you know, every now and again, I know that that is still out there. And, and it gives them hope. It gives, and like I said, that warm fuzzy feeling is still, is still somewhere in there as well. So awesome. Now, we get a little personal. Are you married? I am married. Um, I'm, very, I'm very married. <laughs> um, and, 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 well, we, tell me how does she inspire you? You know, you've been, you, you just wrote this book. So you was married when you wrote this book. How does she inspire you? Okay, well, um, we just celebrated 70 years, actually, me and my uh, wife. Um, anniversary. We've, yes, for sure. It was in August, <laughs> August 1st. Um, my wife inspired several of the pieces in here. Um, there's actually... Um, one or two of the poems in the book that at the end of it, it says for Cassandra. And, and that's my wife. Um, awesome. Because they, they, she is definitely the one that inspired those writings. So um, there's one poem I think I mentioned called Anniversary. And the first line in Anniversary says, my definition of love evolved when I met you. Awesome. My definition of love evolved when I met you. So this is, this is, in, this poem was inspired by her because be, it, it is because of her that I was able to experience that feeling at that time. Um, there are also poems in here inspired by her in the, on the opposite end of the spectrum where I'm writing them to get out of the doghouse, you know, because I, I did or said something that I probably shouldn't have done or said, and I can have, and so, so she inspires on the front end, she inspires us on the back end. Um, but a lot of the poems in the book, though, um, or even just being in a functional relationship with someone, it gives you, I, I observe a lot. You know, like I said, from a shy guy coming up as a child, I observed a lot. That was my MO to, to, to I observed quite a bit. So something you think, whether everybody else will miss, the, the lady in the lobby at my job, for example, will ch change her hairstyle or get a haircut and I come in and say, nice haircut. And she's like, oh my God, you're the first person today that has known this. <laughs> I'm like, I I'm observant like that. Um, yes, so it allows me to just see people in their everyday experiences. And some of the other poems in the book are driven by that. Just observing people and their circumstances, just observing people interacting with each other, just observing the man-woman experience. Um, and that kind of is the inspiration behind some of the pieces in here as well. Okay, okay, I love it, I love it. All righty, well, um, with this awesome book I have right here, tell me about your future plans for your writing. Um, I'm book two is in the making right now. Right. I actually have, um, the cover. I actually have the cover that I vetted and I think I'm just about comfortable with it. Um, the, the inside of the book has been some, actually I'm using some of the folks in some of these, um, these groups that, that recently everybody started joining, you know, post George Floyd, um, you know, some of the, some of the black specific groups on Facebook, I'm actually using some of the folks from those groups to do some of, to provide some of the services that I need. So yeah, I have an article book coming up. I'm still contemplating putting out an audio version to this book here. Um, okay. The next book that I'm working on should come out in all three versions, the Kindle, um, paperback, and the audio book. There's also a concept that I've written a couple pages on 
and I, it's not a poem. It's not a book yet. I'm, I'm not. Sure. It, I, it's a concept I stumbled on called the new masculinity, okay. and I like the concept. And when I started writing, quite a bit came out, and I wrote quite a bit on it so far. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. There's um, and I also want to, for myself personally, work on my my delivery of my work. Okay, okay? because for me personally. Like, I'd prefer just being the guy with the pen and the paper. Even, even my Facebook, even my social media. I'd prefer to be the guy that just wrote the poem, gave it to a person and say, okay, go out there, publish the book, manage my social media page, do all that, and I just go back to, to write some more. You know, so I have to work on my, the, the delivery of my work because I'm being invited to, um, you know, to poetry, readings, to, to events, to, to, um, to do some of my work. So as per, that's a personal goal that I have to develop myself because a lot of times, you know, poem can be good, but how it's delivered makes it better. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Evolve it. That's always a good thing in life. You know, you get complacent in a spot. You always want to evolve to the next level. You know, I'm trying to master that's my craft. I work for you. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, tell me something. Tell the people something that they that you would like for them to know about you that you cannot find in a book, cannot find on your social media, you can't find on the internet. Give us something about yourself that you want people to know. Let's see. I am a pretty good cook. Awesome. <laughs> and I cook quite a bit. I cook quite a bit. I, I pretty much do the cooking at, um, at home. And okay. I sing quite a bit. I, I sing uh -huh. a lot, lot bit actually. Um, that actually that might not that might be something you can find on my social media because sometimes I'll make these wild videos in my car, <laughs> singing on the top of my lungs over my music, and that's just how I de-stress. Cooking and singing is are how I de-stress. But um, unless you're at my house, you wouldn't know that I cook so much. So yeah. awesome, awesome. Well, after you completed this particular project, the love, life, confrontation, expressions. How did it change you? Because, you know, so often we do things to change the world or make people feel some kind of way or, or all these things. And, but when we get through writing, you know, it puts us in a different light of ourselves. So how did this change you? It gave me perspective. You know, I'm, I've always been, I'm, I'm good at my job that I have. My nine to five, I'm good at. I've, I've always been good at whatever job I've ever had. But to create something because a, a lot of us have a lot of jobs and they're great jobs and we love our jobs but not all of our jobs are involved in simply taking a blank piece of paper a pen and creating something that someone else can appreciate and though i've done it for years i really only shared it with friends and family but to see like i i recently completed a book tour in jamaica um and to see strangers come up they take the book or they ask what's going on, they flip through, they read, or some of the reviews that I have on, on Amazon, you know, you realize that this thing that you do, this thing that comes naturally to you can help people, you know? So it gave me perspective in the sense that you, can, you need to be more deliberate about what you do with this, you know? If, if you have one poem in this book that someone can read and it can help them, then you need to keep doing what you're doing. You probably need to do more of it. So it kind of gave me some perspective and some guidance really as to the fact that there's still more that can be done. Awesome. awesome. All right, well, tell everybody how they can get in touch with you and tell them how they can order your book, what platform you're on. And we're going to make sure we put this in the description as well. But tell us real quickly how to get in touch with you. Okay, well, for the book, I have a Chronicles of a Black Man uh, page. The, the book is called Love, Life, Confrontation, Expression. The subtitle is Selections from the Chronicles of a Black Man. I have a page okay. on Facebook called Chronicles of a Black Man. Um, and that page has a link directly, a Shop Now link that takes you directly to the Amazon link. The book is on Amazon. It's available on Amazon. You can search the title. You can search my name, and it should pop up. Um, if you're in Jamaica... It is in Fontana Pharmacies. Anybody in Jamaica know what, where Fontana Pharmacy is. Um, it's in Fontana Pharmacies there. Um, and I have a website also, martinmbooks.com. That also has a buy now link on there. You go to martinmbooks.com. 
you you hit the buy now link and it'll take you directly to where you can purchase the book. Awesome, awesome. Well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Matthews, thank you so much for taking a moment out to talk about your book and uh, share, you know, uh, you know, intimately with me about where this this book, where you started from in this book, and where this book has took you. Um, I, I pray for much success for your prosperity and your writing and everything that you your heart desires. And I just awesome. want to thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you so much for listening, you guys. Make sure you get out and get his book. His book is fire. It would definitely make you feel some kind of way. If you're definitely a poetry reader, if you're not a poetry reader, you know, pick this book up. You know, uh, I know that you will absolutely love uh, his writing, his poetry. It makes you feel really good, warm and tingly and it's fuzzy, fuzzy inside. So who don't want to feel that? So, I know, right? Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Matthews, and you have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much for taking time out with me. Thanks for having me. Take care.